In this lesson, we will learn how to classify chemical reactions. There are five major classifications of chemical reactions. They are single replacement, double replacement, synthesis, decomposition, and finally combustion. Let's take a closer look at each of those. First, let's start with the single replacement reaction. A single replacement reaction occurs when one element replaces another element that is part of a compound. Let's take a look at this example of a single replacement reaction. We have zinc reacting with copper sulfate. Zinc will replace copper from copper sulfate and the products will be zinc sulfate and copper. I like to use the analogy of a couple dancing on the dance floor. The couple in this case would be copper sulfate. Zinc, an individual, walks over to copper sulfate and says, excuse me, may I cut in? In the end, you now have zinc dancing with sulfate and copper is now alone. That's a single replacement reaction. In the next example, we'll take a look at a double replacement, ex a double replacement reaction. In a double replacement reaction, you have two compounds and they switch partners. This is sodium chloride reacting with silver nitrate. Again, it's like two couples dancing on the dance floor and they switch partners. In the end, sodium is now dancing with nitrate and silver is dancing with the chloride ion. Again, they've switched partners. Next, we'll take a look at a synthesis reaction. A synthesis reaction occurs when two simpler reactants combine to form just one product. In the first example, uh, we have magnesium reacting with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. If we continue with the analogy of dancing, it would be like two individuals, magnesium and oxygen, meeting and deciding to dance. Your product is magnesium oxide. Synthesis reactions can get a little bit more complex though. In this second example, we have calcium oxide reacting with carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate. The key to recognizing a synthesis reaction is that you end up with just one product. The next example we'll discuss is a decomposition reaction. A decomposition reaction is sort of the opposite of a synthesis reaction. A decomposition reaction occurs when one reactant breaks down into two or more products. In this particular example, we have water breaking down into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. The last reaction type that we will discuss is a combustion reaction. You might think of this as being uh, burning when you think of the word combustion. Combustion reactions are the burning of a hydrocarbon, and a hydrocarbon is just as its name implies, a compound that contains hydrogen and carbon. In addition to the hydrocarbon, you must have oxygen present to support the combustion, and the products of any hydrocarbon combustion reaction are always carbon dioxide and water, regardless of the makeup of the hydrocarbon. In this particular example, we are burning or combusting ethane gas. So our other reactant is oxygen. And once again, the products are carbon dioxide and water.